It's been a while since we had last covered Bolt.new, the platform that makes it incredibly easy to build almost anything that you would want using prompts. You can simply run your prompts in Bolt and it can create and deploy full stack applications within a couple of seconds. Recently, Bolt introduced several major updates that greatly enhance its functionality. Starting off with its really cool new feature which is the dual screen tab. This is where it allows you to use Bolt with a split screen setup. This is perfect for multitasking and it provides a better understanding of how your app will look when it's actually deployed. The dual screen feature is something that will also streamline your workflow by enabling more efficient use of developer tools. It's a feature that can handle authentication callbacks such as implementing sign-in with Google while simultaneously allowing you to carry out additional tasks on the other tab. This enhancement is going to make Bolt even more powerful for developers looking to build and test applications quite quickly. But before we get started, allow me to introduce today's video sponsor, Scrimba, an innovative and interactive coding platform. Whether you're a beginner just starting out or an experienced developer, Scrimba is designed to help users of all experience levels improve their coding skills. What sets Scrimba apart is its interactive learning experience. In every lesson, you can directly edit the teacher's code as Scrimba combines a video-like learning experience and a code editor into one. This hands-on approach is a powerful and fun way to learn and master your programming skills. You can explore Scrimba's diverse courses such as JavaScript, Python, HTML, and CSS while working on real projects at the same time to build a robust portfolio. Something I can highly recommend for all of you AI enthusiasts is Scrimba's new AI engineering path, one of the most in-demand developer capabilities for 2024. This 10 hour long crash course has been created in collaboration with leaders in the AI space including Langchain and Hugging Face. It covers all the essential skills at the cutting edge of this fast changing space and it is designed to help you start building apps powered by generative AI. But that's basically it for Scrimba. Scrimba offers over 60 free and paid courses accessible with the pro subscription. Use my link in the description below to get an additional 30% off for the pro plans. Now this isn't a completely new feature but it's something that I covered around a couple of weeks ago which is where Bolt.new has now integrated Supabase. Now I have a full video that explores this further in detail, but essentially with this new Supabase integration within Bolt.new, you can easily have a field connected within the web app itself and you can easily connect it to Supabase, which is gonna allow you for authentication, gonna enable database and file storage, which is where it can easily simplify the development process of a full stack app and it's going to basically allow you to easily set up these different things like a user login system or managing different types of database. You also have the ability to handle file storage all within this smooth user-friendly integration with Supabase. Another new feature is that Bolt has introduced the request relay feature, which is going to allow apps to access and use core protected external APIs without any sort of hassle. It's an effort that will remove common cross-origin restrictions. So it's going to make it easier for you to easily integrate these powerful external APIs within your web development process. So it's going to make this whole process a bit easier for you without people needing to implement APIs on their own. And guys, it's actually super easy to enable. Go over to your settings tab, click on network, and you can turn on request relay. You can enable this feature so that you can have bolt.new automate this whole process to using external APIs. Aside from all of those different updates, there is a new update to bolt.diy which is another project under the wing of Stackblitz's bolt.new. It's an open source version of bolt and it's allowing you to now host and run your own bolt instance on Cloudflare pages. So this is where this is a pretty big update that will also let you use any model of your choice and it's going to give you more flexibility and more features that you wouldn't see with the original Bolt model. And the reason why many people tend to use Bolt.diy over the original StackBlitz Bolt product is because this DIY project is fully open source obviously, which means that it's completely free, but it also means that it is community led that allows many different types of developers to work and collaborate on enhancing this product even further. There's a lot more 
uh, features that you wouldn't see with the original Bolt product. And in this case, you can see that this is a pull request feed that is continuously being updated on an actively basis by the community in terms of adding new features, fixing a lot of bugs, and a lot more. So this is why I tend to follow through with Bolt.DIY over the original Stacks product. Now in my last run, as in my last video, I had basically created this full stack application where I had connected Subbase to create an auth system. So we're gonna go ahead and sign in. And this is basically the task management application that we had created. You can see that you're able to add different tasks. You have the ability to specify the title name, such as making a YouTube video. You can provide a description, uh, make a video on bolt.new. You can also give it a category, a date, and then you can click on add task. But essentially, what you can do to set up your Subbase integration is simply click on this button over here, connect to Subbase, which will then allow you to connect to a new org on Subbase. And what this will do is that it will both, uh, it will have both take over and it will help you create all the necessary things that are needed to set up the backend. For example, if you go over to the code section, you can go over to something like auth and you can see that it coded out everything that was needed for the subbase integration now to showcase the other features i'm going to showcase how you can enable relay now go ahead into your settings tab on the bottom left click on settings and then you just want to simply go over to network and you want to enable request relay like i mentioned before it's going to allow you to use external apis autonomously as bolt is going to go ahead and connect and attribute all the necessary details that are needed to set up that external API. Now to showcase the dual screen tab feature, what you can do is head over to Bolt, head over to the preview section and click on open preview in a separate tab. This will make you connect to your project, but essentially once you have connected this, you're gonna get a full view of your app that you're building exactly as it would be appeared in a full tab preview. So now what you can do is go back into Bolt and you can iterate on things and see the live changes made on a full preview. This is going to be really useful for when you're going to be working on authentication callbacks or when you're going to be multitasking and providing a better understanding of how your app should look when it's actually deployed. To showcase this further, let's say add a new feature to the main dashboard. We're going to go ahead and send this in. And essentially, it's going to go now work on coding out the new feature for me. And we're going to see this live in action within this full tab. So within a couple of seconds, we should see this new feature show up within our live preview. And there we go. We have a live preview of this new feature being added where it showcases the completed, do soon, urgent, and completion rate of our task. This is the new feature of a live preview with this dual screen tab that we saw being introduced by Bolt today. But that's essentially it for today's video on this new Bolt update. I'm gonna definitely keep you guys posted on the new advancements that are coming to both of the products, the DIY project, which is the open source product of StackBlitz, as well as this new Bolt.new updated project. So I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But that's basically it guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can get uh, all the new AI tools completely for free on a monthly basis. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. Also, this Mistral model is definitely something that you should stay away from. They're definitely behind the curve. And it is a video that I started making but ended up stopping because it was just truly too bad to showcase. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous content because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas